Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another edition of the Bravado Reviews by Bobby. That's what we're talking about here, and we're talking about a movie review. We're talking about the movie Megan, or M3GAN, as most people are describing. What does that mean exactly? Well, what that means is that Megan is a Model 3 generative Android, and we're going to be talking about that very soon as we get into the movie. Hi, I'm Bobby Munson host of the bravado and host of these reviews as you can see right down below we are a rogue affiliate here and if you are so inclined click the qr code over in the right corner of your screen to check out rogueenergy.com or you can check out that ticker right down below and use the promo code ole pods for 10 percent off of your order if you're following along on our local establishment make sure to check us out on all social media and give us a like follow and a subscribe if you're checking this out on the video bros network make sure that you give us a subscribe as well too always appreciated every time you stop on by but it's movie time folks and yes just got back from seeing megan just this week i had the opportunity to go in and see this one with the wife awesome movie really enjoyed this one i uh, wasn't sure what to think saw the preview of it quite a bit back and definitely gave that that chucky vibe kind of a feel but that's okay love me some good old horror love me child's play chucky love that franchise it's good let's get a fresh take on it let's see where it could go and that's exactly what megan delivers uh this movie being directed by a, a newcomer ab pretty much an absolute newcomer in terms of like big picture type uh G gerald Johns johnson does a beautiful job of putting this piece together and akella cooper credited for the writing on this movie and fantastically done it understands what kind of film it is it isn't trying to be something it's not it's really absolutely understanding the type of film it is and creates quite the atmosphere as well too i believe that they had scaled back on the violence of this movie to get it into that pg-13 type rating as the uh that would be the ncaa that uh ncaa no that's basketball sorry about that but the uh, when mpaa the motion picture association of america does the ratings uh but yes i believe up in canada it probably comes in at a 14a rating something along those lines anyway uh but uh yeah checking this one out in a the theater uh worth the experience 100 when it first starts off it's the first maybe 10 minutes kind of feel like a little bit of a a silly idea behind getting the setup of the film going but aside from that let's say it's a tiny splitting hair of the larger picture that is this entire movie and megan it's 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 really cool i mean she is obviously if you've seen the trailers you know that she is this android that's been created uh this woman Gemma, who works at a, a company called funky who makes these ai toys for kids are always looking for the next best thing and she's been working on this uh, Android for quite some time. This one that would be responsive, that be able to teach kids things and be their best friends essentially. And it just so happens, tragedy strikes when young Katie loses her parents, and that just happens to be Gemma's sister. So Gemma takes custody for the time being, at least anyway, of young Katie, and doesn't quite know how to handle dealing with a child, especially one that's dealing with the recent loss of her parents. So what she does she introduces megan to the picture megan then is synced up to katie and starts to become her best friend teaching her good habits and always knowing to protect her from all harm whether physical or mental and this is where things start to get very very interesting between the neighbor next door and the dog that really starts things off uh, with a slight attack on megan uh thinking that this is nothing more than a chew toy it gets a little crazy from there. Megan starts to adapt, understand what death is, starts to tap into all these different systems, and you start to really see the depth of what an artificial android can do, especially if they are hooked into the cloud, the knowledge that they can grasp, everything that they can process. They are unstoppable because, essentially, they don't act like us. They don't sleep. They don't eat. They don't need any of that kind of stuff, so it is hard to stop an android and when an android becomes nearly sentient and understands its surroundings it starts to take on that human form it becomes extremely dangerous and that's what this movie is all about it's kind of the dangers behind artificial intelligence and the rapid growth uh, you see of this artificial intelligence uh the cast in this does a fantastic job the scares are great uh it never has to be a dark movie to be a scary movie in fact a lot of the stuff takes place in pure daylight and you still find 
and it comes across with a creepy notion to it. Uh, Megan is a fantastic designed character. I think that this is a series that can carry on uh, well into further ones. And in fact, Bloomhouse has announced that there will be a sequel to it already. Uh, Megan 2.0 slated to hit theaters in 2025. So it's going to be great to see where they expand on from this particular one. Uh, if you haven't seen it, not going to throw out a bunch of spoilers here for you guys. Uh, don't want to do that. This is going to be a spoiler free review. Uh, so go check the movie out uh, as soon as you can. I think that this one deserves all the support. This is a great surprise to kick off 2023 already. Uh, highly recommend it. Go check it out. Megan in theaters now. Have you seen it? Have you not? Have you seen any of the things discussed on the show? Uh, make sure to let me know in the comments section. I'd love to hear from all you guys and find out your thoughts on what you've seen this year so far. What's going to be the best thing in 2023 for you? Movies, television, music. What are you excited about? Let me know. Reach on out to me, and I love to hear from you guys. Thank you for joining the Bravado. As always, uh, give a like, follow, and subscribe, and follow on all social media. Much appreciated. Take care, and we'll see you real soon. Bye now.